Before uh, installing Django, let's try to understand why virtual environments are needed. Let's assume you are working on two Django websites. One website is developed with version 1.0 of Django and another website with Django version 2.0. Also, you are told to not to upgrade the Django web versions of any of these websites. So if you install Django to your system level, you can install only one version of Django. So you could work only on one Django project in your machine. To solve such problems, we can make use of virtual environments. So using virtual environments, instead of installing one global version of Django at the system level, we can install separate Django versions for each project. So we are installing Django at the project level and not at the system level. Let's see how to create a virtual environment. So let's just navigate to the folder where we want to create the virtual environment. In this case, I'm just navigating to this tutorial folder and this is where I would like to create the virtual environment. So I'm going to open up command prompt at this particular folder and I will type the command python space minus m space venv space and you have to give the name of your virtual environment. So in my case I will just give it as tutorial hyphen env. Yeah, so now the virtual environment has been created. If you see inside our folder, or a folder named tutorial env has been created inside the folder. So this is our virtual environment and it contains all the necessary, you know, our Python files. So we can install the required packages with required versions to this virtual environment. To activate this virtual environment, just navigate inside this folder and uh, you know uh, just type tutorial environment you have a folder named scripts and then you have to type activate so once you do this your virtual environment has been activated and now you can start creating your projects and uh, you know install you can you can install your django different versions of django and you can start creating the project and always make sure you have activated the environment before installing any packages if fail to do so the package will be installed at the system level and not at the project level in the next video we will install django onto our newly created virtual environment